All right. By the way, that time is actually an hour ahead of normal. It's actually right before midnight. But anyway. Hi, everybody. And welcome to today's Elevating New York by John C. Elevator's Elevator Parts Tour. Elevator Parts Collection Tour. If that's what we're going to call it. Um, this is going to be the most up-to-date tour of my Elevator Parts Collection. As you can see, it's grown quite a bit since the last video. It's grown a lot, actually. I will say. Well, there's a few new additions, but I'll try to let you figure that out. Alright, okay, I'm going to try and let you figure out what you think the new additions are. Let me put the other diesel juicy over there. Um, I'm going to start off with more unique parts first. This right here is a vintage Murphy elevator panel. Put a light switch on it. See, it says Murphy up there. Alarm. Three, two, one. Stop. And then down there it says elevator. This is an Otis lock drop elevator indicator right here. It does this B through 4. And this right here is a Westinghouse black button elevator uh, call station with, that's right, you guessed it, it has the uh, rotor dial on it. There's an elevator phone box door back there, and with an elevator phone. This came out of my PTL elevator COP. This is the butt dollar right there. And this right here is an Otis Series 1 elevator call button. A very big one. Now we have COPs. This right here is a Westinghouse, um, uh, I guess, so Epco, with Epco Circle Line fixtures. It's a Westinghouse COP with Epco Circle Line fixtures. And then the stop switch on this is a little funky. There we go. Got that fixed. And this right here is an ERM elevator COP. This button's loose so I can't push it. The stop switch is loose so I can't pull it. But then right here we have a PTL elevator COP kind of soft touch in a way. It's not soft touch, but like it feels very easy to push. And that elevator phone came out of this elevator panel. Excuse me. And of course the PTL COP has a uh, sign on it. It says in an emergency push, press the button, help will arrive. doesn't really need the period on it at the end. And last but not least, we have the uh, Dover Classic Indicator. Very unique piece, actually, if I will say so myself. And we have two elevator keys right here. There we go. I'll go ahead and use them on my own panel, though. I'm not going to be using them on a real elevator, though, because I do not want to get myself into trouble.
Here we go. I'm also trying to find a key. A key for that key switch. It's H341, but I gotta find a key for that, though. There you go. Let's see our tubular keys. Epco 1. And yes, I do have a ThyssenKrupp Safety Ambassador button, but I cannot figure out where that is at the moment. I have it packed away somewhere. There's also a little bucket of uh, elevator junk down here. All of this has came off of parts I've taken out of certain COPs and stuff like that. This this is the handle to an elevator foam box. Just a little piece of junk, really. This right here is a fake uh, Otis Globe logo. It's actually a magnet. As you can tell, it's not real. And of course, this is this came from the back of a Westinghouse panel, which I have right back there. And the rest of this is just crappy. These are just bolts and stuff that come off of the panels. But, oh, excuse me, um, I guess that about does it for this uh, tour of my elevator parts, and I guess I'll continue, I guess I'll start up again tomorrow, and I guess I'll do another video sooner or later, once I have the parts updated, and... Thanks for watching, and as always, see you guys later. Oh wow. And I'll give you a little view. There's the entire collection from a pretty good angle. Alright, that's it. Oh, what else was I thinking? I think I already said it, but as always, thanks for watching. And see you guys in the next video.